Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So following on from my previous video which was my top 15 favourite liquid to matte liquid lipsticks, I am now doing my 10 least favourite. It's not often that I do hate type product videos but I thought you know what I have got so many liquid to matte lipsticks and not all of them are great and it's not always something that I tend to mention on here because I'm normally bigging something up actually no because not all my reviews are positive I'm not that kind of person I am quite honest with the things that I do like and I don't like and but the thing is some of you may have seen random videos here or there uh, saying I do like this I don't like that but not everybody would have seen it so I thought it'd be easier just to put together a video like this so that you can see my top 10 disliked one now liquid and matte lipsticks are difficult when it comes to nude shades now I did mention in my favorites as in my favorite liquid to matte lipsticks the best nude out there in terms of liquid to matte lipsticks is Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin. He is the only one who has managed to create a nude lipstick that is not dreadful. And when I say dreadful, I mean there are so many nude lipsticks out there, nude liquid lipsticks out there, that are just look horrible. It's, it's, it's got something to do with pastel shades as well, very light colours, in that it is very difficult to translate it into a liquid lipstick which actually looks flattering on the lips. The darker your lips go, sorry, the darker your lipstick is, the least likely you are to see any imperfections and things like that, and the lighter a lipstick is, the more likely you can see fla flaking, cracking, um, patchiness and things like that, which is very evident when it comes to very light liquid lipsticks. This is why a lot of the ones I'm going to show you are unfortunately going to be those nudie kind of lip lipsticks, which is unfortunate, but that is just the way it is. Even if you were just to buy a normal, let's say a MAC lipstick, which is like a pastel shade, nine times out of ten, it'll sit within the lines of your lips, accentuate them, make them look flaky. It will come across as uneven and patchy as well. And the same comes out when it comes to liquid to matte liquid lipsticks. The first brand I'm going to show you is Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the shade Pure Hollywood and as you can see it looks like a very gorgeous peachy nude not gonna lie on Instagram this is incredibly hyped up incredibly hyped up so many people wear it but one thing you need to remember is myself included when I take Instagram photos it's after I've just put the makeup on like two minutes earlier. No one's ever going to put their makeup on after 12 hours where it's all half sliding off their face. So even the lipstick itself still looks fresh. When it comes to this liquid lipstick, I give it about half an hour before it starts to look raggedy on your lips. And I just don't think it's great because of that reason. I have been using this with um, lip glosses. And with lip glosses, it actually works really well. This is the shade Lovely. Beautiful yellow based pink and again exactly the same problem as pure Hollywood I again only pair this with lip gloss to make it look really work Otherwise I give this one Whereas the other one after about half an hour starts to look horrible and sit within the lines of your lips and emphasize them The other one is about 45 minutes later again Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the shade party pink you guys to think that I'm hating on Anastasia Beverly Hills because hers are the ones which are I've actually got the most dislikes of that's purely because I own so many of hers so that's the only reason why whereas the other ones I've only got one brand of and one brand of this is a bright neon pink and I find that neon or bright pinks in general again across the board with all liquid lipsticks I find that they go on the lips very patchy and can make them flake very quick and I find that that happens with party pink which is a shame this is the shade Bellissima by Stila it's one of Stila's State All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This one, the issue with this one is the same as the first two. For me, it accentuates the lines in my lips. It just looks dreadful. It's not as bad as these two. It's definitely the better of the worst. And unfortunately, I just can't get this colour to work for me. I find it to looking a bit too pukey. On my skin tone, that is. This is Gerard Cosmetics Mercury Rising Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is a bright orange and whereas I like the colour, I have to layer it and then the more I layer it, the worse it gets on the lips to the point where my lips look like they've shrunk half their size because the product has literally squeezed and every inch of dryness or uh, every bit of like moisture out of it and scrunched them together and just made them look flaky and dreadful. So I actually really hate this one. 
This is a dose of colours sand. This one is so nude that it's almost invisible against my skin. Firstly, the colour is just, I don't think it's a great colour in general. I think on most skin tones it looks dreadful unless you darken it up with some sort of lip liner. Once you've managed to darken it with a lip liner, it's not so bad. But generally on its own, I just think it's a horrible colour. This is Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Amalfi from the Summer Collection. This one is a gorgeous pink. But the only problem is it's the same issue that I have with this party pink. It goes on the lips patchy and flaky. And normally with Stila liquid lipsticks, because they're quite thick and creamy, you can normally layer them quite well. Obviously, before it starts to the first layer starts to dry. While the first layer is still wet, you can like layer it. But with this one, if you try to do that, it just makes the it just drags and snags and just looks absolutely horrible. This is NYX's suede cream liquid lipsticks in the shade tea and cookies this one is a gorgeous rosy pink shade but unfortunately the quality of the product is awful the longevity is awful it does not dry down matte it dries down sticky and wet and i've done a full review on all of these liquid lipsticks and i've said how much i hate them they're not liquid lipsticks in my opinion because they don't dry down matte and this one out of all of them is to me the worst performing one otherwise if it was up to me i'd probably whack nine out of ten of the ones that i've got in this video as well this is the la splash lip couture liquid lipstick in the shade latte confession the color of this i just find I just don't like the way that it feels on my lips. It feels very creamy when first applied, then it becomes really sticky and it doesn't go on cleanly enough and I just don't like this one at all. I only own this and one other one and the other one I don't have issues with so I know it's just this one. Last but not least is Colourpop's Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ouija. I love the bright coral shade but unfortunately out of all the Colourpop liquid lipsticks I've got this is the worst performing I mentioned this in my review and lip swatches video that I did of this that if you apply more than one layer it becomes absolutely horrible it separates it cracks it flakes it makes your lips look all nasty like you haven't moisturized them in like 10 years and it's just the worst one out of all of them and I very much dislike it so that is it for my hated liquid lipsticks collection out of all the ones that I have these are the ones that I dislike the most don't get me wrong some of them you can work with like the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones I tend to put lip gloss on them Anastasia lip glosses which are amazing by the way and then it works really really well you don't get all that clumpy grossness and patchy separation and that sort of thing so I do tend to do what I can with the products that I've got which are not great and you're not to know when you order them online some of the other ones like the dose of colors one you can darken it with a lip liner and that makes the color a lot more wearable the LA splash one forget it the NYX ones all of them forget it the same with Ouija Ouija I guess you can apply a bit of balm on top to make it work for you um, the Stila one, I just really just don't like anything about that one. And the Gerard Cosmetics one is a complete letdown. I've not tried any of the other Gerard Cosmetics one. I've got one other one, the light pink one, Serenity, the one by Manny MUA. I really like that one. I've not tried any of the newer ones. Let me know what you think. I'm not sure whether I like the range of colours. I'm a bit umming and eyeing on it because I've got so many other ones, obviously. So yeah, so if you've got any more comments, any more questions, any ones that you really hate, and why do you hate them, let me know. Let me know. We can talk about it. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.